Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Movie Social. Got your main man, Steph, here. My main man, Rick. Today, we're going to do a, uh, a review, spoiler version, of Eurovision Song Contest, the story of Fire Saga that can be seen on Netflix. That's um, a long title. <laughs> yeah, it is a long title. Um, with your stars, Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams, who plays Lars in Secret. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, leave a comment, turn your post notifications on, um, and become a part of the family. So, whew, Eurovision Song Contest, the story of Fire Saga. Where's, where's the violins? The Titanic has sunk. It's a fire dumpster, bruh, of a movie. Um, so, mm -hmm. I just didn't like it. It's not your typical Will Ferrell movie. I'm going to drum that in. I don't know how many times I'm going to say this. But honest with you. But it's not your typical world for a movie. Um, it's not your Talladega Nights, Step Brothers, Anchorman, none of those. It was trash. I mean, it, 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 was, it was nothing. It's, it's a comedy slash music, but there is no comedy. Um, just a brief synopsis of it before we go into it. Um, Lars and Sigurd are from Iceland. Lars wants to be a musician and win the Eurovision Song Contest at all costs. He has a one track mind. He thought that as a young kid and to this day, as a grown 30 plus, 40 plus, however he is in the movie, year old man, does not see it otherwise. He surely wants to win. Uh, he's letting his life go past him. Secret, or yeah, Secret, Secret, who actually cares and loves him, he just don't see her. He sees her as a partner in singing. She actually loves this man. And he's so stupid and one track minded that he don't see it until closer to the end of the movie it's like a love story but it's like it's it's just it, it wasn't good it's it's not good it's not something i would recommend watching it's one of my if not the worst will for a movie i've ever seen um and i just would prefer it not to be watched um your thoughts comments concerns i wouldn't besides the fact the whole thing was garbage and trash i have an issue with a few other things with it the accent. To me, that was a little disrespectful to those that actually are from there. Iceland or whatever. But every movie, I mean, if you think about it. But we know they didn't even have accents at all. And they really were trying and it was horrible. So, it, it, my little thing was, was I didn't make fun of the accents. I'm not going to say it was making fun of it because every movie where it's about a foreigner, there's accents. Like, nobody thought... That yeah, Black Panther the, was terrible because of the But the, the way they tried to portray the accents was trash. And then you forget that you have to do an accent at one point. Bruh, Come yes. On. Let's talk about oh, that for horrible. a second. Horrible. So there's a part of the movie where the girl who got blown up. Something, something happened. A boat got blown up. They, they were supposed to be on it or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the boat got blown up. And they weren't on it. And one of the persons who was supposed to win the contest was on it. Got blown up. She died. Okay. She came to Lars as a spirit, with her hair singed and on fire still. Half of his ball headed, trying to tell him to warn trying to warn him that he's in danger. So she comes twice. The second time she comes, the person who was trying to kill him is already dead or whatever. But in the dialogue, he went from sounding like someone from Europe or whatever the case but were Iceland as he's supposed to be, to his regular <laughs> Will Ferrell's voice. Now, I don't know if that was meant to be on purpose or I slipped up and then missed the editing, but he literally was like, yeah, what happened? He was like, yeah, what happened to your ghost powers? Yeah, like, so what are you doing? Like, he, they, listen, he was big. He already got killed. I was sitting there like, um, what happened to your accent? And then after he gave that little, what, quick 30 to 60 minute spill, he went back to the accent. I was, that's the what that's one of the funny parts because I don't know if it was intentional, unintentional, missed the editing, or the director didn't hear it. It, it. That that was one of the funniest parts to me because again you know, I didn't know if it was intentional. But other than that, I mean trash, trash, trash. And also Netflix, what's up with these movies lately with the broken homes? His mom died. Last few movies, parents is gone. Like what is her up with the dad was home? dead. Yeah. Like, what's up with the Broken Home movies? Netflix? It's getting like Disney. What, what are you trying to uh, tell us here? Getting like Disney. It's crazy. Disney and Pixar. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, this movie was horrible. 
Uh, I couldn't get behind the uh, comical scene, musical part of it either, because it's one, there was no comedy to me. Like the first, when they first auditioned and he got locked out of the set, it was just like horrible. And then he trying to walk his way back, eh, I didn't find anything humorous. It Man, was like, and where was the punchlines? Where was the jokes at? None of it was funny. So there was some jokes. Um, but those jokes to me, like you would have to like know the history between Europe and America. For example, there was a part where there was an American tourist and Lars was uh, at like a water fountain and stuff like that. And they was using language and then like, he started like talking about Starbucks and stuff like that, which was confusing the, 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 ter uh, the not terrorists, but the yeah, tourists. tourists. Um, so it had its humor. Um, that basically says, and again, I don't know if this is true or not because I have never been to Europe, but about Europeans not liking Americans and so forth, whatever the case may be. Um, but it had, like I said, th 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 that was, those were the most comedic parts if you actually like, but like I said, other than that, it, there was no comedy to me. Listen, if you guys did watch it, please let us know what did you think. Did you really think it was funny or did you think it, like us, was bad? Because as you can see in the spoiler free version, I gave this a zero out of ten. I gave it a one out of ten. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. But definitely let us know what you guys thought because hey, you might have a different opinion than us. And please, if you're a diehard Will Ferrell fan, please don't come after us with that, uh, well, this wasn't that bad. No, this was trash. Yes. Will Ferrell, I hope you watch this because we need answers. Why? Why was this ever created? Or Netflix is X. Who passed off on this? Or, we need to re re-examine you guys. What he can do is not say nothing and just drop Step Brothers 2. Fire! <laughs> yes, we would love Step Brothers 2. There's a lot of other things. Ty, I want to see another Tyler Lincoln next, though. Eh, given Dude. the nature of things right now, nah, I mean, I don't know, still, I don't yeah, but Tyler, yo, Tyler Lincoln Nights was hilarious. It was hilarious, but now nah, I'd rather see Step Brothers 2. Can okay. we get an old school 2 as well? Possibly? Bro, we'll can we get an old school 2? Uh, old school is old, like literally. Yes, let's get an old school 2. Can we get an Ingram 3? I don't know. We'll see. All right, but um, until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, let us know. Let us know.